Scott here in the office today. Beautiful day. Um, we're going to go over aging mule deer, okay? Uh, a lot of people want to know, number one, how to age mule deer so they know whether they're mature or not. And you can't go by the racks, all right? Uh, racks don't indicate age. So here we go. This is this is how we do it out here in case you wanna, you're want to you on a DIY or in case you're wanting to raise bigger mule deer on your ranch. Um, the three B's are a sway back, the belly, and the brisket on these mule deer. That's, uh, that's kind of what we're going at, is the back, the belly, and the brisket. They should have a good curve to their back, a sway back, and they should have a brisket. Uh, belly should be kind of pot-bellied, and you'll see that more so in the September, October time frames than you will the November when they've kind of run. But you should know your bucks by then. You should know what's what, and you, you can age them, and you can tell what they are by that. So that'll help you. Also, you know, if you really are serious about big mule deer, and wanting, you know, the extra stickers, the kickers, the, the super deep tines, the, you know, that kind of stuff. It, it's funny, but, you know, if you think, all right, this is the year to harvest it. If you let that thing go one more year, you're going to have a dream buck. All right. That happens 80% of the time. You'll get that dream buck. We have had them go downhill though also. But I mean, the good part is you've got that genetic. And if you're going to be hunting it or you're raising them, you've got to keep a herd bull or a herd buck in that group instead of shooting all the good ones. You got to keep good ones to cover your does so you have future good ones. So that's a little tidbit for you. Hope that helps you out with your meal deer wherever you're at. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you later.